Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Cougar House Garage and the final Duramax episode. We're going to go ahead and get the dual steering shock kit uh, painted up, put together or put on the truck, and then we're, we're going to go ahead and give, give, give the truck a nice bath before she goes home. Um, Kaz is going to go ahead and put, uh, he's going to go ahead and put rear leaf rings on it and he's going to, you know, or maybe a U-bolt uh, or a, a shackle flip kit on the rear. He said he wants to work on, on on it a little bit himself so it's gonna roll out out of here a little bit of Car Car Carolina lean to back but that's okay he wants to work on it and it's gonna be cool to see him working on it and then it's rolling out up out, out, out of here on factory rear wheels and then um, some aftermarket or just some aftermarket Ford super, uh, super duty rollers for the Ford front axle so he's gonna go ahead and order his front um, or, or his 24 14 wides and some 38s so that'll be pre pretty cool to see those on it we're not going to be able to get to see it and film it here, but um, I'll give you guys the links to, to his Instagram and his social medias and whatnot. You guys will be able to keep up with it and see where it goes from here. So, all right, guys, let's get started. Cue the music.
Hey guys, what's up? Back to the video this morning. Derek's over here. We're, we're gonna go ahead and get the, the Bill Steins off the Cougar House Fab dual steering shock mount. And then Derek's gonna get that welded up with some, some, some of those beautiful laser beam welds. And then we're gonna get the ends press broke just a little bit so they'll touch the steering rod. And then we'll go, go, go ahead and get this bolted on, get those tacked on, pull off the shocks, weld those fully on, and then as soon as the steel it gets here, we'll get that painted and get it bolted back on. So. Let's continue the video. Cue the music. Sun is out here overseas. Dark emotions ever torn so deep. Falling down.
That looks real good. Both the shock mount tabs welded onto the steering rod. Let that cool down, and that's ready for some steel it. And then we got the bracket bolted on the Duramax. It'll be ready for some steel it. It's dirty. There we go. Um, so I ordered a new can. It'll show up in the next few days. We'll get this painted up, and we'll get the Cougar House Fab dual steering shock mount painted with it. And then it's done. Then it's headed over to Apex Collision to get the body work done, or it's headed back to Kaz. Apex Collision will be here tomorrow, and they're going to write me up an estimate that I can send over to Kaz to see if he wants to send it to them, versus having to take it home and then look for some other body shop in Tacoma and then have it transported there, where we can just have it transported right around, around the corner here. So yeah, um, we'll catch you guys in a couple days here when the steel it shows up, and we'll get this all painted up, and the Duramax will be done.
right guys, all finished up with the Duramax. It's our final episode, it's final day working on it. It's kind of sad to see it leave, but it's been a really nice project. It looks super cool, it came out super, super clean. It'll look really good with, with, with some rear uh, lift springs or rear uh, shackle flip kit to match the lift height up front. And with some nice uh, 24, 14 wides with some 38s on there, it's gonna look really good. I can't wait to see it when Kaz is done with it. He's gonna, he's gonna get it home, he's gonna do the body work himself and get that all repaired get it painted and then he's gonna put put the rear lift parts on and then he'll go ahead and order a new set of front and rear brake calipers for it and get new loaded brake calipers on there. It's something I left off because that's something that he could do that's really easy just to pick them up from the parts store and bolt them on. Okay guys, so yeah, awesome project. It looks really good. You know, we'll be making uh, Cougar House Fab four link kits for them. We all ready to do so. If y'all are interested in one and want to hit us up on our Instagram or our Facebook, to get just get a hold of me through, through there and direct message me, and I can let 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 you know avail availability and help you get a four link kit out to you. So overall, it turned out really good. It looks really good using the steel it on there, and then using the four built Bilstein shock mounts on with uh, the Cougar House Fab uh, dual sh shock mount towers on each side of it and then we got our Cougar House Fab lower U-bolt flip plates with their mounts wel welded onto them and the proper U-bolts and we got our Cougar House Fab pan hard bar mount and pan hard bracket on the driver's side of the frame and that pan hard bait and the dual steer the Cougar House Fab dual steering shock mount looks really good with, with the two Bill Steins on there. Overall it came out really clean so we're really excited to see how it's going to look once Kaz gets it home and gets some uh, 24 14 wides on it gets the body work all done it's going to be a really nice driver and then um yeah the front drive line's not on it that's something that he can order and do himself too that's why you know and, or him him and i discussed that so that's why there's not one one on it for the trolls if i want to feed them a little bit but yeah that'll get a drive line when he gets back home he just has to flange the flange me measurement and has to order a drive line through high angle drive line or any other company that makes those but yeah guys pretty excited about the project it's all done it's going to be going home here Saturday so thanks for watching today guys thanks for keeping up on the build and keeping up on all of our projects and your constant support as always we really appreciate it here and if you guys want want to go ahead and check us if you guys like what we do we're working on an update website here where it's going to be cougarhousefab.com so be looking out for, for that we're working on the beginning stages of assembling that website so we can have all of our products on there for our fifth gen foreigner it's over there hiding behind the welding blanket but um our fifth gen foreigner four link parts our dodge four link parts our uh, duramax uh, solid axle swap four link parts and our ford four link parts so that's that'll be pretty cool that's coming up here soon guys just be patient it'll be up there soon but if you guys are interested in any of those parts just let like i said hit, just hit me up through my instagram and direct message me and i can get you those, those parts out and take an order in but all right guys thanks for watching you know like i said look out for the website hit the bell up there for notifications so you guys get notifications when i upload new videos um and if you guys want to check us out at uh, the cougar house garage or facebook forward slash cougar house garage and we are cougar house garage on instagram guys keep up on the daily projects there that improve all these daily or the daily story that i'm really active on and keep up with all the crazy projects here in the garage and if you guys like like i said want any of the products just direct a message me on there but anyway guys we'll see you tomorrow Thank you.